All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. So last week, after just a stupid amount of grinding, many tears, much, much rage, your boy finally reached the champion tier in normal PvP. And obviously that was a huge moment for me and I had to get it on camera, get it on video for you guys. So if you guys haven't seen that video yet, make sure to go check it out after you see this one. But today, we are about to reach yet another major milestone in my, I guess, Grand Cross journey. And that is hitting the rank of Champion 1 for the first time ever. For those 60 free diamonds at the end of the week, which just blows my mind, man. That is two free multis for just playing the game. That's crazy. Like, it just blows my mind how generous this game can be if you put in the time, right? So anyways, um, I'm excited and I want to share this moment with you guys once again. So without further ado, let's pop over to the PvP screen and uh, get these matches started. Here we go. So I believe I only need one win to get to champion one and ideally we can just do that one match for the video get to champion one and just call it a day so this could be a fairly short video i mean honestly i'll probably go a few more just to further cement my place in this rank but uh we're really really close guys 3892 points just one win required as you can see the team is your classic standard infamous kingbroom team do i feel a little bit dirty about using it do i feel bad about using such a cancerous team kind of a little bit but i do not feel bad enough to not use it to climb to champion one so it is what it is man it's a team that's in the game and we got it and uh, it's been doing really good things for us so what we're gonna do here is obviously use alt food and I always like to go second if possible. And at this tier, usually people do have around like 93 to 95 KCC. So I typically go second and uh, we get the three alt gauge immediately at the beginning of the fight. And sometimes turn two, all three of my units will have their alt going. And that's a lot of fun. So hopefully that happens here. So with all that said, I'm stalling. I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie, but let's jump into our first and possibly final, like only match required to get to champion one today. And uh, after that, I'll do like one or two more matches just for fun. I mean, if we fall out of champion one after that, then I have to do it, do it again just to get back into it, right? So we'll see what happens. Maybe two to three matches in total for this video. And uh, we have a Bon, Arthur, and Gother. Pretty uh, common team actually, but I don't mind these ones. My success rate over these kinds of teams is pretty high, but about like 70 to 80%. Um, the only trouble I've had actually was, is against Galland. Galland has given me a lot of grief, man. Not gonna lie, so... Okay, so he is pressuring me right now. Um, but what we're gonna do is rank up King here. And I think I'm gonna actually go for... Gother. So he doesn't get the attack boost from the passive. And he also can't rank up King, or sorry, not King, uh, Arthur or Bond's cards. So we're gonna petrify Gother and heal up too. Oh, you know what? That's out of order. Oh, that was a misplay, because I should have purified first. Right? I should have purified first, and then we would have had um, our full attack and everything, and then use the petrify to do more damage. So that's my bad, but I think we're still okay. I think we're still in control right now. Um, the Bond is about to ult next turn, which is interesting. But of course, if I just use the Hellbrum card, we should still be okay. All right. So we are going to ult, all right? And uh, we're gonna take away his ult. And then I think I'm going to actually stun the Arthur. I'm gonna stun the Arthur, just in case he has like a level 3 buff set up. Don't want to deal with that right now. So, I think this is the best play. Okay, so take away the ult. There we go. And now his Arthur is stunned, so he can't take away my heals. 
and he also can't take away um, or he can't really buff his team. So we're good. We're good for now. In the next turn, we can either rank up King or Gother, or, or not Gother, sorry, rank up King or Helbrum for potentially another stun. Depends on what he does here, but most likely I'll do that. Okay, so he's ranking up Arthur. He's definitely trying to set up the level 3 buff. Um, so we're not going to let him do that, obviously. <laughs> definitely not going to let him do that. So we're going to rank up Helbrum here. And then we're going to... Uh, let's actually disable attack and then we'll petrify Arthur. Okay, so next turn we're going to have the Helbrum ult. We're going to have the Gother ult as well. And this guy's gonna be super, super pissed. <laughs> I feel bad, man. This team is very cancerous. Um, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to get to champion one, and we're almost there. Okay, so he might actually kill my king. He might actually kill my king. Let's see if he's able. Oh, he can't. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna purify, and then we're going to take away the buff that the bond has, and then. We are going to take away all his alt as well. So uh, we actually might clear the team this turn. The team could be done. Depending on how much damage you do here. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. That's a team clear right there. Yeah, sorry Fabi. You know, you put up a valiant fight. Valiant effort. But this team is just too busted. <laughs> it's too busted. <laughs> okay, there we go. He forfeited and uh, we are officially... And you know what? I have to wait for the screen. I have to wait for the screen. Okay, so this doesn't count. I don't, it doesn't feel real until I see the big, like, you know, congratulations screen pop up. So I'm going to click this. And hold on. There it is. Tear up successful. Congratulations. You have reached division champion one. You guys know what that means. All right. That means 60 guaranteed diamonds at the end of this week. Two multis, so crazy, man. Could you imagine if other gacha games did that? Like Dokkan, for example, they gave it 100 stones for just playing a PvP mode or some other mode. Like, every single week, dude, that's insane. And after this week, all I have to do is just get back from a champion, champion two, right? Champion two to champion one again. So, you know, just a couple of matches every single day and I should be able to do that. So 60 diamonds every single week until... I guess I get really unlucky and can't pull enough units to make a meta PvP team. But I don't see that happening for a while. I think this Kingbrim team is going to stay meta, I believe, for some time, right? I mean, obviously Escanor coming out is going to shake up things, but I'm going to pull Escanor no matter what. Like, I'm willing to pull out the wallet, the credit card for Escanor, so that's not a big deal. But uh, this is awesome. Okay, I want to do one more match just uh, for good measure. Just to prove that I deserve to be in this tier. Watch me lose though. <laughs> it's definitely possible. <laughs> that would suck. Um, if I do this one match and I lose, then we're going to have to do another one to make up for the loss and get back into champion one. But I, I think we're going to be okay. I mean, I, I've been winning a lot of games, man. I've been winning like, I think the last 10 matches, I've won nine of them. And uh, the last 20 matches, I've won maybe like 16, 17. Wow, we got a DN here. This is interesting. This is a very interesting team. So he's definitely going to try to alt rush with DN. And uh, she can hit really hard. She is scary. So I'm a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit concerned. And the, the Hauser too could cause us some trouble. So what's the play here? Let me think. Okay, so interesting. Hauser already has his alt. So we are going to... I think, um, take away, no, 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 hold on, hold on, oh crap, okay, so we're gonna take away the ulti, oh crap, oh actually no, you know what, <laughs> that's fine too, oh it's not fine, no it's not fine, because he's gonna purify and then ult me, damn it, that's a rip, <laughs> that's a rip. Oh man, I didn't play I didn't play that properly. I ran out of time. I was thinking too much. I was thinking too much. I mean I can see I can still see myself coming back from this. Unless Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Uh 
Okay, we're still fine, guys. We're still fine. Um, we're gonna take away alt, and then we're gonna petrify the king. So that he can't purify, obviously. Because if we petrify anybody else, he's just gonna purify them. So there's no point. Okay, there we go. So nobody has the possibility of getting an alt here for at least a couple turns. And uh, we have the king alt. And I don't think he can take out our king, so... We should still be okay. We should still be safe. Um, unless unless he does some crazy stuff with Deanne, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'm worried, man. I'm concerned. Is this concerned? Oh, he took out my Gother. Okay. So we have Verlin now still, which is okay. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, give me a heal. Give me a he Oh my god. Okay. Um... Let's see, let's see. So we're obviously gonna ult. And then I'm going to actually try my best to kill his king. So let's go here, let's go with that, and let's go with uh let's go with that as well. Hopefully you take out the king. If not. Hmm, that could cause us some issue. Oh no, the king's dead. The king's definitely dead. Okay, now we gotta take out the Hauser. Hopefully go for that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Hauser's dead too. Oh my god, I was worried for a, for a minute there, man. I was super, super concerned for a minute there. But I think we're okay. No, actually, we're not completely safe. We're not completely safe. He could still take out my Hellbrum. If he takes out my Hellbrum... That could be trouble. That could be trouble. Ooh, wow, we just survived. Just survived. Holy crap. Um, So let's... Uh, we should probably stun her, right? Okay, let's stun her. And then... Um, what should we do? What should we do? Should we... Should we... Wait, hold up. I, I, I targeted... Okay, okay, I targeted Merlin, okay. I wanted to make sure. Sometimes when I click my phone, when I, when I select a enemy, it doesn't, like, register. And it's super annoying. Okay, there we go. There we go, okay, perfect, perfect cube coming in clutch. Perfect cube coming in clutch. Uh, we're gonna heal, we're gonna heal. Here we go. So we should take out the... TN here. I, I, it's very unlikely to survive here. There it is, and then we're gonna heal up. And he should forfeit now. If not, then we're gonna win next turn. I mean, I respect people who stick around, even though it's a guaranteed loss. Um, I respect that. You know, you just don't forfeit. But I mean, there's not re really much of a point to it, is there? So we're gonna go with a double stun, just, just cause. Why not? Take away the ult, and then stun him one time. Stun him a second time. That's GG, guys. So that one was tough. That one was tough, because I don't think I played this one too well. I think there were quite a few misplays in there. Um, but we pulled it through, man. See, that's the great thing about this team. You can start off behind by quite a bit. You can, you know, make some bad decisions, make some bad plays, but you still have the ability to come back because of all the AoE supers or alts, uh, because of um, all the, the petrifies, the heal from King, all that stuff. If, you're t if your King gets taken out early, then it's going to be some trouble, right? It's going to be kind of tough because you won't have the heals. You're not going to have an extra unit or a second unit to, to potentially petrify. Um, so that's going to suck, but... Aside from that, I mean, as long as your king stays alive, you always have a chance. So that's at least my philosophy with this team, man. As long as your king's alive, as long as king's still alive, you're, you're good to go. That's, how many times did I say that? Doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm a little rattled, man, from that match. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna end this video here before I, I make some more stupid decisions. Before I, you know, do something dumb and make myself fall out of Champion 1. Of course, I'm still going to keep going. I'll play my daily matches. We'll see uh, how things go. Maybe I'll get to like, you know, 4,000 points before this week is over. Who knows? But for now, 
that is the video. I think 15, 16 minutes is a good cutoff point anyways. And uh, before you go, let me know in the comments down below what your PVP team currently looks like. What teams are you guys running? I've seen a lot of teams actually with uh, the Bon, Arthur, and Gother combo. Com com combo. What did I say? Combo. <laughs> and uh, it's a good team. Um, I do lose once in a while to it, especially when they get those level three Arthur buffs on turn one. That's just dumb, man. I hate that. So when that happens, it's basically a guaranteed loss. But for the most part, I am able to deal with Arthur's buffs and beat those teams. Now, teams with Galland, Gother, and Arthur are a whole different animal. And my win rate against those teams is a little bit lower. I would say about like 60 to 65% because Galen can be pretty tough to deal with, especially when he, um, you know, seals the uh, Helbrum or King and they can't stun. That's kind of tricky. But anyways, I'm just curious what teams you guys are currently running, what uh, rank you're currently in as well, and uh, maybe give me some suggestions for fun random teams to run now that I'm in champion one. Maybe I'll switch over to geared PVP, uh, elite PVP, and try my hand at that. I've heard that is pretty crazy. It's a whole different thing on its own. But uh, that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out